Hey everybody, this is Christian Buckley with another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with Abu. Hello. Hi. How it's, are you doing? I'm doing Christian. great. I, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your uh, your late evening. I know it's a slight yeah. time difference here. It's in the middle of the night yeah. for you. For folks yeah. that don't know you, who are you, where are you, and what do you do? Oh, thank you so much. My name is Abu Kondi. Uh, from Ghana, but currently I'm based in France. I'm working here. I just came in France uh, one year ago, and I was the first MVP in Ghana. So that was congratulations. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. But now since then we have more of the uh, MVP coming up, and we are doing a lot of things uh, online, in person in Ghana. Uh, so that's actually what that I'm doing. I mean. Now focus on security, cyber security. Uh, recently, I just got a, um, a job at uh, Avanad. That's where oh, I yeah. am now currently. Which I just saw today. There's a social post, something like 80 MVPs or something like, I don't know what the number is, 70 or 80 yeah. MVPs at, at Avanad, which I, yeah. I'm pretty confident is the most of any company in the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's very cool. And so in your, uh, again, what your MVP is in the Azure, but what are specific, that's such a broad category. So Ken, yes, what, uh, what are your areas of focus? Yeah, my, my focus is uh, on the uh, identity network security. So Just that. those okay. areas, yeah. I know there's a lot. General, yeah, yeah. There's we, a lot we, that's we, happening yeah. with the intra, uh, uh, you know, re release and all that. And uh, that's not my space at all. Um, in fact, I had a conversation with somebody on my product team today where I work for an yeah. ISV. And it's like, do you know anybody that's working on Entra? And I'm like, go into LinkedIn. I've got second degree connections with a couple dozen people in that space. But I'm like, I don't know any, anybody first, you know, first connection. And so we're, we're trying to make inroads into Microsoft now just to learn more about it and to talk with the product team. Okay, I see. <laughs> We are trying to learn every day. Uh, I started with uh, uh, um, on-prem Windows Server virtualization mm -hmm. and joined uh, Azure Wagon. Now we are doing network server environment in Azure and then security. That's what I do most of the time, networking. I see so you're working with a lot of companies that are still on-prem or hybrid, or are you helping with those transitions or? Yeah, yes, uh, a lot of migration, mm. uh, like a hybrid scenario. It is uh, identity, um, um, Windows Active Directory, and Azure Active Directory. At the same time, networking, uh, site to site VPN, and Express Route configuration, and um, security. Uh, most of the time, that's what we do. Well, I know a lot about migrations on the on the, the, the data side and, and the system. So I spent many years working with that within that space. And I know okay. enough to always then go and work with an identity specialist rather than you know, to, to answer a lot of the harder questions of how it be, should be configured, especially in a hybrid world. So I know that yes. a, a lot of organizations that I've worked with over the years made so many investments into their on-premises yeah. systems. Yes, yeah. And they don't want to, they, they can't afford to walk away from that, they, but they want to also leverage the cloud. Oh, uh, uh, in Ghana, in Africa, is uh, we are really, really moving slowly hmm. because most of the time they don't trust cloud. We don't have a lot of data centers in Africa. In Ghana, no data center like in South Africa. So they are always concerned about where are you going to keep my data? So... Yeah, to, that, to that was a big data. Yeah, it was it was a it, big it, deal to get the data centers in South for South Africa. Where are are yeah. there plans? I've not been paid. Are there plans for Microsoft to open up any other data centers in Africa? Uh, no, I don't know. I really don't know. But we've been talking about it uh, to Microsoft. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know when is it coming. 
because that's the serious business there and customer would say where my data is going to reside yeah europe south africa europe even closer to us than south africa even though we are all on the same continent but yeah, uh, yeah. west what? europe it, a lot of people don't know that too. A lot of, uh, I think the African subcontinent was all out of, was it out of the UK? Where, where was the data center before South Africa? Was it UK uh, primarily? No, Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. So that's something that I'm, and I'm surprised that we've not heard anything. I mean, uh, if I'm correct, was it, hasn't um, Nigeria also, like gone back and forth to South Africa as biggest uh, economy in Africa a couple times. Yes, yes, and, yes and you'd yes, think that true. there'd be a data center there, you know, and Ghana. Uh, of course, you know? yeah, yeah. That that's what we want. At least West Africa, because South Africa is very very far from us. But yeah. West Africa, the Nigeria is a big, <laughs> is a big place. Is a big country. The economy is doing well. And yeah, I think we should have one data center at least on in Nigeria. So that we use in West Africa. Yeah, well, maybe we can we can pressure Microsoft into that. I'm, you know, I I have to believe it's you know with with so much that's you know the business is growing so quickly that Microsoft yeah. must have plans for other data centers there that just maybe aren't announced yet. But I'm not on top of you know what they're doing there. But um, again, I I was trying to um, with the opening in South Africa. And I had hoped yeah. to be in country when the grand opening there and planning doing an event and it just it didn't work out schedule wise it got delayed and you know but... yes yes I, I I remember that time uh, around 2018 right we're talking about it yeah. yeah yep well very cool well so so tell me what was your journey to become an MVP uh, like was it something that you tried to do for a while or kind of what was your path? Oh, uh, it's been a long journey. Uh, before um, that was before 20, 2015, I started learning um, Azure aggressively. Mm -hmm. And then the thing was, I can see that I was the only person who was interested in the cloud computing. It was new to all of us. And I wanted to have a way to get people we discuss about it and learn together. So I decided to create a, a community mm -hmm. with uh, my friends, my colleague, and I used to teach in, uh, in Ghana as a certified trainer at IPMC. So mm -hmm. I informed some of my students, hey, why can't we form a community so that we start learning together and share ideas and prepare ourselves and pass an exam, Microsoft different exams. So we had a study group and people saw it, it was interesting. And we contacted Microsoft Ghana, asked them that if you can use the conference room, they accepted. Mm -hmm. So we start having regular meetings there. That's when uh, I start uh, to see other MVPs uh, to get to know about them and start to reach out to them to say, hey, this is what we are doing. But uh, that was before COVID, so uh, they couldn't come to Ghana and attend and come and speak at our events. It was very, very com complicated because no sponsorship, but nobody believed in what we were saying, what we are doing. So I was just doing that one with uh, some of uh, the friends. And later, because we saw that, okay, Microsoft Office in Ghana is nice. When you say we have an event in Microsoft Office, people want to come. Yeah. They have to come, we'll meet, they will discuss. And that's what I was doing to, I met one MVP from South Africa and he said, hey, Abu, what you are doing is good. Yeah, I think you can become an MVP. Yes. How do I become MVP? So I had to go through with him, uh, some coaching about how I can become MVP. Yeah. So who who was that, that MVP? Uh, who, who, who was uh, that? Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence Reddy is, he was in there. Okay, Devin, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, he came to Ghana some time ago. So we met, uh, we had a discussion and really that opened my eyes how to go about it and start uh, organizing the first boot camp, uh, mm -hmm. Asia boot camp, global yep. boot camp. Yeah, so I got some other MVPs from India and France and there's Patrick Gimone. I don't know if you yep, know him. I know Patrick well, yeah, in France. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, so Patrick, even the one nominated me to become MVP. 
Well, that's, and this is something I, I think is a great example of, um, so I've started user groups where I've looked around and said, hey, there's a user group that's doing this, but there it, you know, is a couple hours drive. They're not, it, rarely people from my area were going over to this. And so I said, you know, I want to start something up. This is when I was in Northern California. So it, for those that know, you know, the East Bay, all the meetings were happening down in San Jose which with the traffic was like a two hour drive away from, you know, wow. from where, where I was living. And I said, well, why can't we do something over here? And so went and talked with people said, Hey, let's together, let's start something up. And, and so we just started meeting together and like, we were, it wasn't a Microsoft uh, related user group, but Microsoft, uh, a lot of the local community colleges and universities are happy to, if you're doing something that's free and open, and, yeah. you know, uh, you know, they're, you're sometimes happy to host community activities. They make space for that yeah. and can host you. So there's, you know, finding facilities um, isn't typically the hardest part. It's getting the oh, word yeah. out. Yeah, you know? yes. That, 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 that was the, the, the difficult aspect of it. But uh, because we've been working with the Microsoft, uh, uh, the company I used to work with, uh, I had a former colleague called, uh, named Diane. So she was my former colleague. She joined Microsoft and I said, hey, now my colleague is working at Microsoft. I explained to her that, Diane, can we come here and do this? Okay, no problem. Yeah. So since then, we started having the boot camp and we really, really got support, supported from, uh, like everybody was supporting the idea. So yeah. people keep coming, coming, coming. It came to a time that we couldn't even host the event there because a lot of people was coming always. And Microsoft 365 uh, team to really help me he used to send us a uh, goodies, t-shirt. And so we shared that one and people see that they really, really want to come and join us. A lot of people was coming and I was uh, really surprised because the way it started and how people took it was really serious. Yeah, well, that's great. So and and that's I know that, are, are you leveraging the Microsoft community tenant for your user group stuff or do you? It, yes, okay. yes, we, we, that's what we, uh, the Microsoft teams, uh, when COVID came, so yeah. I think we were one of the first community because I reached out to the, uh, uh, the community uh, program manager. Mm -hmm. She's in France. I reached out to her and say, can we have a, a free tenant? But that time there was no free tenant. Right. I don't know if that's what motivated them that to 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 build I, a free tenant for people and share. Yeah, I think that there, there were so many requests, similar requests coming in right at the start, and yeah. I mean it had been discussed for a for a while inside Microsoft. I just I, I know because a lot of the people that are that own and and, and drive that uh, community tenant and people don't know what we're talking about. Uh, there is a Microsoft Teams community tenant and it's like msft yeah. community is the name yeah. of the tenant and yes. it's set up for free for user groups and other yeah. events so even if you're doing like an annual event like your yeah. like the azure boot boot camp um if you want to host the azure boot camp you can go and create a site you have all the assets collaborate and use yeah. that so that you have the same place to go back to all the members that yeah. were there they're already added in so every year you know, they don't have mm -hmm. to go rejoin another site. They're already in there. You can use that yeah. for user groups and other stuff. So yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, yes. Uh, that, that's when we, that was 2020. So because there was no, uh, Microsoft closed their office and we were there dormant and people was asking me, can't we do online events? I say, I don't have a platform where we can do online events, but Luckily for us, we got to Microsoft to accept that to give us the. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's great. I, it's a yeah. That's something. Again, there are resources that are out there. There's a there's an entirely. I don't know if you're aware of this too. There's an in, they're they're even upgrading that entire community tenant and experience. Mm -hmm. So they're um, like over in in the collaboration space. There there were for years the SharePoint Saturday events all over the world. Mm -hmm. And of course, now that it's not just about SharePoint, it's about Teams and it's about Azure and Power Platform and kind of yeah. all these different areas all in one. So they've kind of rebranded it as the Microsoft or M365 Community Days. 
And any regions like, uh, you know, you can go and reach out to Microsoft and say, hey, I'd like to schedule an annual event, a, a community day event. And uh, there's resources, they, Microsoft, you know, there's some, some funding that's even available where, where needed, but, uh, you know, just tremendous resources, as well as it allows you to then tap into, if you're going to do a hybrid event, so have some okay. people in person as well as online, uh, it actually will give you access to potentially sponsors and speakers and more Microsoft contacts for your region. So they're making it easier to do what you and I have both done painfully on yeah. our own without the resources. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's, it's really, really true. That's true. And, and I can say like, uh, because when I was in Ghana, the first challenge, I was fixing about uh, the community was to get a speaker. It was very, very difficult for me to get some speakers because yeah. really the Microsoft specialists, there are not many in Ghana. Okay, so the, the first year we got all the people to speak. So we wanted the new people to speak. And we had to recall the same people again to come and do it, but uh, COVID online, so I got to reach out to everywhere, uh, people from everywhere. So a lot of people are from everywhere in the world coming to speak online to our events. And, and I'm happy about that. And some people, even they were not MVPs and they reach out to me, they want to speak to my events and uh, that was their first time. And yeah. today they are even MVPs. That's fantastic. Are you starting yeah. to do, uh, are, are, are they starting in, well, I'll talk about both France and Ghana, are, are user groups and stuff, are they starting to get back to in, in person or is it still too early? It, yes, yeah, so people start to, to, to do in person now. Gradually they are doing it in person. Well, so. That's good. I mean, I was just, last week I was in London for an event. It was my first time overseas since, December of 2019. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And I actually had in 2020, I had three or four international trips scheduled, and which obviously was all canceled, um, which was uh, COVID. unfortunate. But yeah. But it's, uh, it's I, I, good I, to see that they're happening again. Yes. Yeah. So we, we are, we can't wait. Everybody wants to now do in person events because it's been a while. We haven't seen each other, so we want to do in person. Well, that uh, I hope I hope to we will go to summit the uh, next yeah. year, right? I I hope so too. And and it's uh, as I was saying before we started recording, it's it's uh, I, I often say this: it's the best perk about being an MVP is the annual MVP summit, because no yeah. matter how much I mean, it's great to have. We've done the last couple of years online and a lot of great content. It's very difficult to do the level of relationship building, to find, you know, new, meet new people, have those sit down, eat meals together, uh, you know, talk, you know, get in depth on things. There's uh, last week at this event in London, I saw two people who I've interacted for the last couple of years online have never met in person. Wow. And, and, and so it's, you know, there's, it's great to have the tools and have the meetings. I feel like I, Hey, I know them to some level, but it's, it, it, it's, it's just, it's different. It's better to meet people. In yeah. Person. I, I, re, I, re, I really, really noticed that when I went to South Africa, all the MVPs and the Microsoft staff I met in person, the relationship is different. Yeah. I know them. They know, I felt that they, we, we spent like a two days in South Africa, Johannesburg uh, for the um, Ignite the Talk. Uh huh. I really, really, yeah. We took some pictures together, and I really, really got to see a lot of people from South, uh, South Africa, all over the world. And we had a friendship up to till now. And then most yeah. of them too. I invited them that if they get time to come to Ghana one day for our summit in Ghana. Yep. What? Well, how meaningful those things are? Like the there's the. Uh, uh, the SharePoint conference 2009, which was down in Las Vegas. Um, I made friends that week that are still people that I'm talking to and yes. working with now. Um, you know, it's been, you know, 12 plus years. So it's, yeah. uh, yeah, it, 
having those face-to-face -face interactions is so so powerful is is, is the best is the best really is the best yeah so we we we, uh, we were not lucky the time we became mvp we can't travel that's I know. the difficult I know. part yeah. well hopefully stuff is opening up and i i hope to get out to your part of the world in fact i'll be over uh in i will be going to france before the end of the year oh. We've got a number of oh, events okay. that we're trying to pull together. So I will definitely reach out and uh, to all of my MVP contacts, people that I know that I've interviewed. And if I come through town, I, I will, I'll let you know. So would love to yeah. meet you in person. And definitely. if nothing more, I will be there the entire week when we do summit. And oh. uh, if at all possible, you know, come and stay for a couple extra days before or after so that you can, get acclimated yes, to the yes. time zone spend yes. your time and and not feel like in a rush to get back out of there because it's just yes. it's great a great experience that's true that's so so true well Abu, i really, I really appreciate that you taking the time and, and you know your your late night to dial in for this for folks that want to get in touch with you or follow you what are the best ways to reach you uh, everywhere on social media <laughs> like linkedin and on Twitter, uh, on Facebook, I'm everywhere, Abu Konde. Uh, just, just type my name, Abu Konde, on social media. I'm very, very interactive. Anytime you reach out to me, I can, if I'm free, I can talk to you. That's awesome. Well, that's like, that's why I always tell people, it's like, don't be afraid to reach out and contact an MVP. We, we all love people connecting, reaching out. If you've got questions, yeah you know, it come to us and, uh, you know, let's, if we don't know the answer, we probably know yes. somebody who does know the answer. Definitely. Definitely. It's, and it is a, it's a, it's a, it's a biggest community. It's very, very interesting. I'm so, so happy to be part of it. And like, I, I, uh, anytime I think I say, Hey, I'm lucky to be part of this a great community i can talk to anyone who doesn't know me you see that uh, yeah mvp just start talking to you you can see yep that's the magic uh, definitely and congratulations to all the mvp who just yes. joined and those who uh, renew and it's yeah. not easy and congr congrats on your renewal as well and uh yeah well it's great to connect to get to know you and uh thanks for participating in the interview okay thank you so much and bye-bye Wow! <laughs>